Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and today we're taking on the Terror Rat. Here's the party. Uh, one thing to be sure that you guys bring into your party. Uh, I'm going to show you where of light because he's going to be the main guy actually. Uh, safety bit. So you want to be able to nullify death on uh, your provoke tank. So this way when uh, Terror Rat is under 60% he's going to start casting stop and death on your party. So, sorry microphone i just hit it uh so having the safety bit will notify the fact that you can die in one turn uh so that's really good and you're gonna use uh, uh i always forget the name of his ability right here uh, brave presence so you're gonna 100 percent draw the attack to him so this way you won't die and your party will stay alive number two mistia why mistia uh he's gonna do some magic attack they're not that strong especially if you break his attack in magic but she has something really good, her clear availability uh, basically nullifies stops for 3 turns. So for 3 turns, your party won't be able to get stopped, which is really really good. Because once again, once uh, he's under 60% of his threshold of HP, he's going to start casting death, uh, also paralyze and uh, stop. So you guys have to be careful, if you don't have a Yaka, well, if you have a Yaka, just bring a Yaka, your party won't die. I'm pretty sure of that. Or else, if you have Mistia, just use Mistia with that ability. Uh, Rosa is going to be our healer because every once in a while he's going to do some MP AOE drain move. Uh, so we're just going to use Bless. I put dual cast on her so she can dual cast Karaga if we need it. But for the rest, really simple fight. Soleil, you guys know her. She's just going to be there to buff our party, uh, the attack and magic, spirit and defense. And Mr. Orlando, because you know what? He's the man. Uh, we're going to use his crush weapon, which is a 45% break to attack and magic for 5 turns. So we're going to use that, because you can basically break his attack, magic, defense, and spirit. And we're going to bring a friend, Sephiroth, just to, you know, max out the damage we can do on the Terror Rat. Uh, Ifrit's on it, because we have to be able to cast Ifrit during the fight. And also, uh, Ifrit has Beast Killer, and since Terror Rat is a beast, well, we're going to do able, uh, we're going to be able to do a little bit more damage with those killer abilities without further ado let's start this fight so right before i was recording and uh, basically my healer died on the second turn i don't know why but before that there was no problem and terror had just decided to go rampage and warrior of light just erp a derp did not protect nobody so first turn soleil we're gonna boost our attack because on the second turn that's where he starts doing a little bit more damage uh, we're gonna AoE cover for everybody on the first turn. Rosa is just gonna use Bless, which is a really strong move. Can't wait for a 6 star. She's gonna be a really, really good healer. Uh, we're gonna use Crush Weapon right here. Mistia, we're just gonna use Clear Veil. So we wanna make sure that Clear Veil is up at all time, guys. All time, you wanna make sure it's up. Then, Evans Wept, just to do a little bit of damage. <coughs> so. In this fight, uh, no items, we have to evoke Ifrit, and we have to defeat the Terror Rat with magic. Which, my magic move, this girl is going to do it. We're going to dual cast Banish, and we're going to try to kill the Terror Rat with Banish at the end. Hopefully it's going to work, because it worked the first time I did that fight. So if everything goes well, it's going to work out. Uh, I put the Black Belt on Warrior of Light just to get a lot of counters to see if he's able to fill up that gauge right here to evoke the effort. But right now, he's not doing any, any of that. So, uh, we're gonna dual cast Karaga. Karaja, actually, or Karaga. Well, uh, whatever, the 15 MP one. Uh, we're gonna dual cast it. Make sure that Warrior of Light gets a little bit more HP here. Alright, that's good. So, this turn, we're gonna break his defense and spirit. Soleil is going to buff our defense and spirit on the second turn. We're going to use double Divine Ruination. Right here. And Mistia, you know what? We're just going to go for... Mm, actually, just in case. We're going to give a little bit more HP to uh, Warrior of Light. See if he's able to survive all these attack right there. So let's see how much damage we can do with those two bad boys right here. Make sure we don't drop it under, under 60%. Good, perfect. So, you want to make sure you don't drop him under 60% because if you're not provoking with your tank, uh, well, he's going to cast death on one of your units and you don't want that to happen. So make sure you control that damage, you don't burst him down because if you burst him down and uh, he casts death on one of your party, 
then it's gonna be a little bit harder to control. So here, we're gonna use Brief Presence, 100% Provoke. We're gonna dual cast right here, again. Karaga, Karaga. We're gonna make sure that everything is up. Mistia, we're gonna use Clear Veil one more time. I wanna make sure that it's always up, guys. You wanna make sure, because now once you pass that threshold, he's gonna start uh, inflicting Paralyze. Stop on your units, you don't want that to happen. We're gonna boof, boost our attack and magic. Divine Ruination. Heaven's Wept. And let's see how much we can go. So we're not lucky with our Esper Gauge, unfortunately. Which is not really fun. Because I want to be able to fill it up as much as possible. So we good, we did a good amount of damage. Warrior of Light's gonna take that. Hopefully this is not gonna hit us too hard. We should survive it. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. And, alright, let's go. Let's drop some gauge here. Let's drop some Esper Balls. Let's go. Esper Balls. That sounded really wrong. Alright, don't drop no Esper Balls. Alright. Uh, turn 4. I want to make sure that everything is still up on our party. Uh, so we have resistance against everything. Yep. Everything's up. Uh, Warrior of Light still protecting the party. Perfect. Uh, him. Everything is broken. I love it. Uh, we're gonna go nice and easy. I don't want to kill him right now, even though I should. But I want to make sure that we can build that Esper Gauge as I drink my coffee. Because my throat is so dry. Uh, uh, let's see. Here, Mester, we're gonna go for AoE cover one more time. Mistia, you know the drill. You're just gonna do Clear Veil one more time. Uh, here, I want to make sure I don't kill him yet. Because I want to get the... Uh, Esper gauge up, so we're just gonna use Evans Web first. And then I'm gonna use Orlando's Divine Ruination. There you go. We don't wanna kill him. I just wanna see if we get this, those Esper. We're not getting nothing, so we're not lucky on that one. Now we're gonna boost our defense and spirit on turn four. Missed the Terror Rat. Alright, Warrior of Light, if you're nice, you're gonna do a lot of damage. And you're gonna drop those balls for me. No, don't, yeah, whatever. I know it sounded weird, but just hit him and make sure that there's some Esper's balls that comes down. He's just countering like a beast. Ah, there you go, one. Can we get another one? Oh, man, we're really getting unlucky with those ones. Uh, so we're gonna use Evans Webbed. Actually, you know what? Let's go, let's go auto attack. Yes, there you go. All right, that's what we needed. One single auto attack. We're gonna use... Mr. Ifrit right here. I'm gonna I'm not gonna play the animation because everything's gonna lag out, so we wanna make sure that we're keeping control of that computer right here. I don't want it to explode in my face. Uh, Warrior of Light, what are you doing, my friend? Are you still 100 percent Yep. We're just gonna re restart it one more time. There you go. Here. You know what? I, I basically wanna just keep my defense and spirit up just in case. I don't wanna die. We don't need to boost our attack right now since our attackers are not doing anything we're gonna use bless one more time there you go mistia you know what you're doing you're just gonna do clear veil that's that's what you're here for in this fight and also to cast magic at the end to kill him so right here he's gonna do some stuff warrior of light's gonna take the damage i don't think he's gonna get hurt nah man warrior of light's still a boss He's still a boss. This guy doesn't care. He's just gonna counter for days. So, alright. Uh, we're gonna break his defense and uh, spirit right now. Nice and strong. We're gonna use Divine Ruination. Heaven's Wept. Mistia. You're gonna dual cast Banish. Right here. Let's see if... Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna boost our attack and magic right now. Let's see if this works out. Let's see if this works out good now. So... We're gonna cast, boom. We're gonna see if the HP goes down. We're gonna cast Banish. One, two, and three. There you go, we got it. We beat the Terror Rat with magic. Uh, we evoked Ifrit, we didn't use any items. We did it nice and strong, guys. Nice and strong. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped, 
please let me know in the comment section below if you're new to the channel please drop a like subscribe for more guys uh guys i know it sounded really weird really weird so did we get everything it doesn't show it doesn't matter but you guys see all the three stars right here uh guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it uh if you're new to the channel like i said before please leave a like subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys next time peace